Thank you for your support for the Dunedin Hospital SOS campaign calling for the retention of a top flight teaching hospital in the centre of Dunedin. We're delighted that 6,000 plus residents and numerous local organisations who backed the campaign have had their voices heard. Now, earlier this month, the government announced that it plans to spend up to 1.4 billion on a new hospital for Dunedin. It's not yet decided exactly where it will go, but it has stated that its preference is in the centre of Dunedin. This is a far greater level of investment than was previously envisaged, and it's a reassurance that a top flight hospital will indeed be rebuilt inside Dunedin. And the Labour Party has also announced that it would build a new hospital in, the cent in a central city location if elected to government. Well, it's clear that the politicians have listened to our community, and now we see that the best way to ensure that a central city rebuild is realised as soon as possible is to put the Dunedin Hospital SOS campaign on hold and work with the government, whoever that is after the election, and other key st stakeholders as well, to help facilitate a central city rebuild. Now, I've made it clear to central government and to the Ministry of Health that Council will give any support and assistance we can to achieve that outcome as soon as possible. We'll be doing whatever we can to represent the community's voice in that effort. And this massive investment in our city will have an enormous impact on the city's health, economic and educational well-being. We'll be advocating for a 21st century facility that contributes to Dunedin's strategic goals such as being zero carbon, accessible and connected city. Thank you for your support.